now this is a video that should wake a few people up, so share it around as much as you can, guys. I say it should wake a few people up because some will obviously sleep to the very end, but do you all remember us being told that we are all in this together? Because I certainly do. If you can keep going in the way that you have kept going so far, if you can help protect our NHS to save lives, and if we as a country can show the same spirit of optimism and energy shown by Captain Tom Moore, who turns 100 this week. If we can show the same spirit of unity and determination as we've all shown in the past six weeks, then I have absolutely no doubt that we will beat it together. We will come through this all the faster and the United Kingdom will emerge stronger than ever before. I know how tough this is uh, for staff in uh, the NHS and care homes uh, who are facing a tough winter on the front line, for, for families who can't meet in the, the way that they would want to, for businesses forced to shut just as you're getting back on your feet. I know that the many of you are anxious, weary and quite frankly fed up with the very mention of this virus, but I want to assure you this is not a repeat of the spring. Schools, universities and nurseries are all staying open and these measures, though they are tough, are time limited. The advice I've, re I've received uh, suggests that four weeks is enough for these measures to make a real impact. So these rules will expire and on the 2nd of December we plan to move back to a tiered approach. There is light at the end of of the tunnel. That was obviously the slogan being banded about, so you fell in line like good little sheeple. This was clearly nonsense. As we have seen, the political class and celebrity elite have done exactly what they wanted in plain view, while telling you to stay at home and shaming you if you didn't, maybe telling you you're going to kill granny or some shit. Then of course we have the new doctors and engineers crossing the channel literally every day, with the help of pretty piss poor Patel's border farce. Now, though, we are being told of 20,000 people a day arriving into lockdown Britain, 8,000 of them are tourists with reasons as important as visiting Big Ben. You cannot visit your mum, go to the pub with friends or indeed take a holiday yourself, but this government will let some foreign tosspot come over here for a spot of sightseeing around Big Ben. Talk about pissing in your pocket and telling you it's raining. I mean, take Gatwick for instance that has a reported 80-90% to 90 tourist arrival ratio just to take the piss out of you a little bit more. The same is also true of the Eurostar that France actually wants us to pay for because taking the piss out of us seems to be international at this point. Oh, and to top it all off, only 1% of them come in here after isolate in these new quarantine hotels. I guess they are only for Brits coming back from abroad because locking up foreign tourists for two weeks might breach their human rights. Clearly showing us that our human rights don't matter in the slightest, so we are obviously fucked. Now, I feel it should also be said that the Times is reporting Border Force staff are actually getting pissed off with this. You know, letting in tourists on a sightseeing expedition when they can't leave the country themselves or even visit their family. But I have to say, this is what we need, and exactly why I said, show this video to everyone, share it around, like it, do everything you can to make sure it gets about. The more people who see them taking the piss out of us, the more turn around and just say no. Then Boris the Snivelling shit weasel should be fucked, it should literally unravel shortly after that. If enough people say no, then there's literally nothing they can do. This is something many of you have been screaming about for a long time now. But on that note guys, I'm going to end the video there. Remember to check out my other social media links down below like BitChute and Odyssey. Like this video, subscribe and of course share it. People need to see this video like I said.